That's a great question, and that's a tough one. Um, you know, I speak to as many students as I possibly can. Whenever I have had an opportunity to go speak to young people in general, male or female, I've taken the opportunity because they absolutely are future leaders. I think too often they feel left out of the process, not included, like they don't care, they don't matter. Um, I do everything I can to support community scholars, which is a great nonprofit mm -hmm. that specifically mentors young people, offers them leadership opportunity, and it grooms them to be our future leaders. Um, every I would say 99% of my team, my campaign team, my, um, my, my group, my core group of allies, 99% are women. Um, in fact, I have a great photo of all the women who helped me through my campaign and um, on my Facebook I call it Mis Mujeres because they are, they're my mujeres, you know, they're these great women who support and help me and I try to support and help them. But when it comes to mentoring young women, I think, I think there needs to be, I need to do a better job of that. You know, I try to focus on young people, um, but I agree, I think young women need something different. I can see it in my daughter. You know, you, you've got this great confidence when you're a young, before you hit the teenage years. And she's not at the teenage years, and she's still strong and confident, and I don't want her to lose that during those years that are really challenging for us as girls, where it becomes about everything external, where it becomes about this brutal scrutiny, where um, it gets really, really rough for young women. And I want her to maintain that strength and that, um, that power that she has but I'm afraid she'll lose it. And so that's a good question. I need to do more. That's the answer. <laughs>